I ate an eighth of mushrooms. That's three and a half grams, which is too many for you to be eating if you're gonna be on the clock. Hi, my name is Fat Tony, and this is the time I ate a shitload of mushrooms on tour immediately before I went on stage. 2011, 23 years old, I'm on tour with Das Races and Danny Brown. This was maybe my second tour ever. Third show in, we're in Dallas. We're playing a place called Sons of Herman Hall. And in my Googling, I found out that this place was kind of haunted. It was an old VFW hall. So just imagine all the trauma and all the soldiers that have come through that bitch getting fucked up trying to escape their past. Some of them are still lingering. They've repurposed it as a concert venue for indie rockers and indie rappers to come and fuck it up. I don't know why, but after our show in Austin, I decided to pick up some mushrooms. Now, I've had a few experiences with mushrooms, done them here and there, but this time I wanted to up the ante. I ate an eighth of mushrooms. That's three and a half grams, which is too many for you to be eating if you're gonna be on the clock. Now I thought to myself, you know, I have a few more dates on this tour. Should I spread the mushrooms out? Like maybe eat half now and half the next show, or you know, maybe a friend of mine will come and we could split them at some point. Fuck that. I'm fucking superhuman. I'm a young rapper guy. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I eat them at the hotel immediately before they take me to the concert to go do my set. I'm setting up my laptop, getting ready to go on stage. Sold out show. There are college kids everywhere and they pretty much look like they're 12 or 13 years old to me. I feel the mushrooms coming up. And then I started to get a little bit scared. I'm like, you know what? I've never done this before. I'm on this big tour. This means a lot to me. I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to be the man, right? You know how like the loading bar is at like 80%, then 90%, then 98%? It's that last 2% to go until you're fully fucked up that it finally dawns on you that this might not be a great idea. I decide to get a little bit more comfortable by taking my shoes off. The stage was carpeted, so my feet in the socks with the mushrooms flowing through me on the carpeted stage, it felt fucking amazing. Now God knows how many vodka sodas have spilt on this carpet. Who knows how much soldier vomit has spilt on this carpet, it didn't matter. I put that shit out of my mind. I was here to entertain. And as I'm rapping, I'm starting to feel a little bit woozy. And about two songs in, I decided to just go into some stage banter. I'm making fun of the crowd because they're all college age kids looking like they're 12 years old. I'm looking into the faces of these college kids and I just can't stop laughing. I'm fucking giggling. I'm in a fit. I think at one point I even sat down on the fucking stage and just had a little laughing fit and just like, give me a moment, guys. One of the tour members looking at me like, Tony, you are fucked up. I'm looking back at him like, yes, I am. Now, I'm not totally confident at how good my set was that night, but it felt good to me. Now, mushrooms, you might think you're gonna see some shit that's gonna be all hazy and all kind of characters popping out. It was none of that. I just felt fucking goofy. I felt silly as can be. I laughed literally at everything I saw. Kids came up to thank me for playing their town. I laughed at them. Kids bought merch, I laughed at them. One kid asked me to sign a shirt, I laughed at her too. I should have had a dunce hat on. If there's an animator, please draw a dunce hat on me and just age me by, you know, six or seven years earlier and you'll, you'll pretty much get the picture. I start to walk around the venue, I'm peeking in rooms that I shouldn't be in. I pass a room with a television that's on with no one in it and there's just static on the TV. At that point, I remember that this fucking place is haunted and I need to go sit my bitch ass down in the dressing room. There's a couple women hanging in the dressing room with us, talking to me and the tour manager and some of the other guys. And she looks at each one of us and realizes that all of us are fucked up. We're either on a drug, at least one, some of us two or three. These two women are looking at us like, wow, um, we thought y'all were like smart and cutting edge artists, but y'all are fucking imbeciles. Literally. Each of you are fools. That was the first and last time I ate three and a half grams of mushrooms ever in my life. But not the last time I ate a mushroom before I performed. Tales from the